As we bid adieu to 2020, let us all welcome this season with lots of love and joy. Yes, 2020 has been a very, very difficult year. We understand that it has been very, very challenging. Different types of changes we have seen. Since the month of March, the way we managed everything has actually made us realize the difficult times that we faced and also the strength within us. We were cleaning, we were disinfecting, we were bombarded with information from the media and we really did not know what we were doing. And at the same time, I like to thank all the faculty members, the staff members, the principal, headmistress, the directors, everyone, because the way they saw to it that students do not suffer. I also like to thank the parents because they have always been beside us. We tried to see that classes were not missed. We never felt lonely. Yes, at times we had to go in for isolation. We have lost many of our dear and near ones. But at the same time, we also got the opportunity to reinvest, to reimagine, to rethink about our own self. I'm stressing this self because the father of self-esteem, Nathaniel Braden, said that you know, when you realize that there is no one, you help yourself. And today, if today you have become stronger, it is because you wanted to. The energy that was there within you has flown and it, has, it is going to help you to progress in life. Shifting sands, moments will change with tide and 2020 is almost going. 21 will be hopefully a year with lots of hopes and progress. We realized that we are interdependent. We are to be connected because this connectivity has helped us to survive and thrive. So this new year hopefully will make you happy and give you a lot of peace i like to wish all of you a very very happy new year and i wish that we meet very soon so i don't think that day will be very late have a great time a very good year ahead all the best to all of you thank you